Shay, come on up. <laughs> you come home for two games now. What is uh, your opinion of the upcoming two games? Well, they're the, you know, although, you know, you can make a case that we've had a lot of big games, but they're the two biggest games we played at home today, you know, because of obviously the ramifications of, of what could possibly be if, if we're able to take care of business and what would happen if we don't. So, yeah, they're, they're huge games and both hard games and two teams we haven't played in a long time. Bill, I realize there could be a lot left in this season, but from what you've seen in nearly four months of play from this year, this year's team, uh, in 10 years from now, what, what's, what's going to come to mind when you think back on what these guys are and have been and what you've seen so far? Well, I think back five years from now, I mean, five years ago, hell, I have a hard time remembering anything about it, so <laughs> I, I, I don't know that I'll, I, I'm sure that, 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 that this team will, to me, will be uh, always thought of as, as a team that maximized their, their talent, you know, about as well as any we've had up until this point and, and uh, love to compete and, uh, you know, gave, gave us the best chance to win most night in and night out because they were coachable and tried real hard. So uh, the intangibles that I would think about this team would be, you know, in that 8A eight, eight plus type range, you know, because I've, I've really enjoyed this team a lot. Was the plan always to medically redshirt Kyle or did that come over time? Uh, well, you can't come over. You can't make a decision until you, you gets a chance to get healthy. So, when when, when uh, you know you, you can't play a guy and then decide you're going to redshirt him, then then him be 100 percent healthy. The whole key was could he get healthy, and the answer is he's not 100 percent yet. So, it was it, it's it's an easy decision uh, to uh, uh, medically redshirt him in large part because he's not healthy enough that he could be his best out there. Had he been healthy this year, what would you have hoped he would have been able to accomplish as a Richard freshman? You know, I don't know. You know, I hope he would have been able to contribute some. Um, you know, he would have had to beat somebody out that's that's playing ahead of him in order to do that. But uh, uh, Kyle's a very, you know, he's a talented young man and, and a terrific athlete. And, you know, he's got a chance to be a, a, a really nice player. But I wouldn't put him above uh, – Right now, in, in the in in the uh, you know if you're doing a, a depth chart, I wouldn't put him above the guys that are playing right now, though. Coach, I think after the game of the night, somebody asked you about being on the one line, and I think you said you didn't maybe see that with this team. Did you have a vision maybe before the season of if if things fell into place where this team possibly could be going into March? Well, I think the the whole thing with uh, when you look at your team, your, your your goal is every every year is to maximize. Uh, your, your team uh, to the point where they're playing their best when it counts the most and and also uh, uh, to get them playing as close to their ceiling as possible. You know, I, I hope we haven't done that yet. Uh, I think we've been fairly consistent of late in, in how we performed, but I hope the best ball is still ahead of us. Uh, you know, be quite honest with you, I, I, I don't think that I envisioned that uh, at the, at, the, at the end of the year, uh, we would control our own destiny on, on what actually happens beginning postseason, uh, whether it be, you know, capturing a league. You know, controlling your own destiny also, you know, means you probably have to win out. So, so, so I mean, but, you know, Texas could say the same thing as well. But, you know, cap capturing a league and being a real a high seed in the tournament is all in front of us if we – do what we're, you know, set out to do. You don't need help from somebody else to do it if you take care of your own business. There's been a lot of years where we needed some help to follow our way to get to where we want to go, and that still may very well be the case. Uh, uh, but the reality of it is, is we put ourselves in a good position where it doesn't have to be the case if, if, if we perform at our best from this point forward. Uh, but there's no guarantees on that. So, you know. Obviously, I, I didn't envision that. We haven't talked much about it since the beginning of the season. I remember asking you then kind of the pressure of, of being the defending champs, but it, it doesn't seem to have been a factor all year. Has it been in the way of pride at all? I mean, when, when you did hit that lull, did that 
kick in another gear for these guys to say, hey, we're better than this or anything? Well, I think I think the whole deal is whenever you don't play well, the message to your team is always, hey, hey uh, we're better than what we're playing, guys. Uh, uh, but you brought up something I hadn't thought about in months right. was uh, uh, us being the defending national champions. I, I don't think like that. I, uh, I probably thought I would going into the season, but once the season starts, that was totally irrelevant. You know, we're, we're, we've asked our guys to, and we, we've even said it to the media, it's, it's time to move forward. And I think our guys have done a pretty good job with moving forward, knowing this is totally different than last year. Do you think it, it picks up as the weeks move on now? I mean, you're starting to see people nationally writing about repeating and, and the first team to have a chance to do that in a long time and, and those kinds of things because well, of how you're playing. Well, we're the only team that actually has a chance to do it this year. So, uh, 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 so but, but to your point, there hasn't been – to my understanding, and I, I can't speak positively on this, but I don't think there's been very many teams that won it and the next year put themselves in a position to be talked about uh, uh, in, in, in a way maybe that we're getting talked about now. But, uh, you know, that, that that's still, it's just talk. That doesn't mean anything. Sure. Uh, first game with West Virginia, you mentioned it, it was a while ago. What do you what do you remember about that? Uh, well, I, I watched the game this morning. Um, you know, I remember we made shots early and we got off to a comfortable lead and and we, we, we kept them at an arm's length the entire time. We, we we finished the half poorly, but they only got it to six or five or something like that. And and, uh, uh, and then we extended it back out the second half. We were fortunate that, that Johnson didn't play the first game and he certainly makes a big difference. Uh, from an athletic standpoint and from a, a defensive standpoint, uh, uh, you know, because he can hawk the ball about as well as anybody in our league. So, uh, I thought we caught some breaks uh, in the first game that that uh, maybe people didn't realize they were quite as big of breaks as what I thought they were at the time, and they turned out to be that way. So, uh, they're very capable, and you guys know that. That you know, what what are they twenty six, twenty five, whatever they are in the net. Uh, <clears throat> but they still need probably to 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 get a couple more wins to solidify some stuff and and uh, uh, you know this would be a huge huge game for them uh, as it's going to be a huge game for us so I think it'll be a I think it'll be a pretty exciting Saturday. I'll ask you a GB question, a two-parter. Now um, Stevenson was four for fourteen. What what you guys do? Was that your defense? And then. The second part, you got to the line, I think, 19 times. Was, was that an emphasis, and will it be again? Well, whenever you whenever you play West Virginia, I think you have to be aggressive uh, offensively because they're going to play very aggressive defensively. So, I mean, you can't be timid. So, I, I think getting getting to the paint, you know, when you play uh, Bob's teams are, are always something that's important to do because they'll blow up handoffs and deny one pass away, which makes you put pressure on your players to go make plays. So... Uh, and we did a decent job of that uh, the first time. And, and uh, uh, Stevenson going four for 14, uh, you know, I'd like to think we defended him decently, but I've seen him take the same shots that he missed against us and go nine to 14. So uh, he's talented enough that he can get his regardless of how well you play defense. Are you impressed with Dewan's assist to turnover of late and for the season? Yeah, I don't know what it is for the season. What is it, about four to one or three and a half to one, something like that. But uh, yeah, he, he's he's been really steady with the ball, and you know it's it's pretty nice that you know he can play three games and play thirty five plus minutes basically in each game, and you know average less than one turnover a game when the ball's in the hands as much as it is. So yeah, I, I've been real pleased with Dewan. How's the health of Zach and everybody that's been uh, like Well, Zach, Zach can play, but he's not 100%. Uh, Zuby can play. He's closer to 100% than Zach, but he's not 100%. Uh, uh, Joe doesn't feel well, so Joe, Joe, Joe's been laid up the last two days and, and won't practice today. Hopefully, we can get him back tomorrow. Um, but, you know, this time of year, I don't know that anybody's – 100% healthy, so we're, we're all right. We were talking about medical. Could Cam get one, a medical? Yeah, I would think so. You know, he, he, he's for sure not 100%, so uh, uh, I'm sure that he'll apply for one. 
um, if, if in fact he can't come back, but all indicate, you know, he had to take a couple of days off just last week or whatever because his shoulder was so sore. So uh, they told him it would take, you know, three or four months for it to get back to where it should be, and, and we're not at that point yet. We talked a lot. We talked a lot about Kevin McCullough's defense this season, but how much more comfortable has he looked to you offensively the last kind of three weeks or so? I, I think he's done some some things better. I think he's he's gotten to the line a lot. Uh, to me, he's driven a little bit better. Uh, you know, uh, uh, he's a talented offensive player, but he's not he's not a guy that should rely strictly on shoot jumpers. And so, I think he's done, doing a better job of mixing in, uh, being aggressive. Uh, uh, um, with, you know, being a complete player on the floor. He's, he's, he's really, I mean, he, his IQ defensively is off the charts and, and he's done a great job in that area. But, but to your point, I think he's been better on the offensive end as well. And he just talked about his own leadership and trying to find his own voice. How have you seen that develop over the course of the season? I think it's been good. I, I do. I, th I think it's, I think it's certainly picked up. I think there's a lot of things that's picked up since we went to Ames. And I think certainly Kevin's, uh, uh, him being vocal and his leadership, I think, is one of the things that's helped us out a lot. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach.